What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Weed News at 420, I'm Lance Storm, and if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, we'll let you know whenever we drop cool new videos or live streams. This video goes out to a viewer we will call Bob, because that's what he requested. He sent me an email and it was pretty cool. It comes with um, reference links and everything. It's called Marijuana and Diabetes, and this is his story. Marijuana and Diabetes. We will call me Bob for now because I cannot allow myself to be upfront about my cannabis use. So hi, I'm Bob. I'm 39 years old, diabetic, and have been now for about 10 years. I'm six foot two, weigh 320, but before smoking weed, I was around 350. Enough about me. This isn't about me. It's about our freedom of choice of medication and recreation. For a long time, my diabetes was not controlled. It took a long time to figure out what I needed to do to control it. I'm glad to say I am in control of it and I count it up to good eating habits, some medication, and mainly marijuana. I say this because being in control of diabetes is more than just controlling your sugars. It's more about the side effects of diabetes. There are many things that can happen with diabetes. There are nerve pain, glaucoma, heart condition, stroke, neuropathy, of the extremities, of the hands, of the feet, and the list goes on and on. I am one that can attest that smoking marijuana helps me regain my feeling in my feet. Every time I smoke, I feel a little more. This is in conjunction with controlling my disease for years. I have had... For years I have lived with some of these. I took 14 different pills in order to control the ones that I have. Now with weed, I don't. I don't smoke on a daily basis, just two or three times a week. I watch what I eat and learn more about the carbohydrates in my body, and this makes me feel better, along with smoking a little. I had a doctor say that he feels that cannabis will help out with more than just cancer pain, cancer and pain, but also with diabetes and its side effects. I asked him if marijuana was legal, would he prescribe it for my diabetes? He said yes, because it would help me with my nerve pain. This interested me, so I looked it up and did some research of my own and played with it a little bit. Yes, in fact, when I'm not smoking, my nerve pain is worse than when I am. So there's yet another reason for medical legalization of the plant. Here's a quote from Murray Middleton, an assistant professor at Harvard Medical, along with a few other articles. The most important finding is that current users of marijuana appear to have better carbohydrate metabolism than non-users. Their fasting insulin levels were lower and they appeared to be less resistant to the insulin produced by the body to maintain a normal blood sugar level. With marijuana, I live pain-free and can feel my toes again. I feel and say that I will always use the plant for just that. It is not just to get high. That's the bonus. It is to feel and live again. I am currently only on two pills for my diabetes. My goal is none. I have also stopped taking the pill for my restless leg and my nerve pain because it made me feel very weird and just not in touch with reality. So since I have replaced it with weed and other cannabis type products, thank you for your time. This is my story. If you like it, I'll send you more. Bob. Thanks, Bob. It was really good. I appreciate it. He goes on to say that the NFL is going to be looking into weed for pain relief and lists off some pros and cons about it. Well, all the links and the special stuff that he put in this letter, I will definitely have in the description below the video. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts or concerns. Maybe you have diabetes or a family member, and this could be a direction to help them out. Now, I'm not here saying that cannabis is a cure for any of these things, but I'm definitely saying that I'm sure it can help you out along the way if you're in need of it. That about wraps up this story. I'm Lance Storm. This is Weed News at 420. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. You know the deal. Maybe we can get a thousand views or a billion views. Who knows? I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Stay positive and come back and see me.